Welcome to Viscount's organ tutorial series for 2020, which we're recording this year in the Church of St Margaret's, Oxford. I'm Francis Rumsey, and in this series I'll be discussing with Jonathan Kingston how organists might perform various wedding and memorial pieces on the organ. We're using a Viscount Envoy 35F Physis based digital organ which offers a lot of registration flexibility over two manuals and pedals. All of the pieces we'll be looking at are arrangements of works for ensembles, and there aren't really any rules about how they should be rendered for the organ, but we hope you'll enjoy hearing some of our ideas about how it might be done. For our second piece in this year's series, we're going to be taking a look at the Solemn Melody by Walford Davis. Rather like Nimrod that we did previously, it's quite a useful piece for the end of a funeral. Um, it was originally scored, I think, Jonathan, according to my info at least, for cello, strings and organ. Um, so we're after a broad melodic sweep here. Um, the opening introduction needs a rapid rise and fall of dynamics, doesn't it? So how do we go about it here on the organ? Yeah, well, my copy here suggests um, pedal foundation tone to 32 foot um, with the full swell uh, and the great diapasons uh, coupled as well. So um, can you just give us a, a snatch of the opening yeah. to hear the way that you deal with Certainly. this? Certainly. Uh, just the first, the first line, really. Yeah, yeah. so the left hand is, is, is on the swell. The right mm. hand is coupled through to the great initially, and the effect is this, box closed. time you hit the top of the arpeggio there really that wants to coincide with where the box is fixed open mm -hmm. um, the the next uh, little filler of harmony is really just a case of uh, uh, taking some of the organ tone down so I minus the reeds and um, except for the oboe which I keep on And just knock off some of the upper work as well. There's a two foot fifteenth, which um, which is perhaps not something you want on that on that final chord before the opening melody then gets going. Yeah, and then we move on to this opening That's right. cello melody. Um, we talked about this a little bit earlier. I think we're going for some sort of diapason tone here, yeah. aren't we? Yeah, all of them actually on the great. I'm a, I'm a great fan of, of, of uh, tenor melodies played here with both diapasons drawn, which they are, um, and I actually have a, a, a tasteful tremulant drawn as well, <laughs> just to give a little bit of, of, of undulation to the tone mm. um, as a sort of a doff of the cap towards the, you know, the vibrato sound that, um, mm. that string playing can, can involve. So we have this. And the Excellent. two sort of complement each mm. other quite nicely with the accompaniment there. Very good. And um, then we get up to the second verse, if you like, which is on more of a full diapason toned organ. Yes. Yes. What have you got registered here? Yes. Well, where the melody um, is then uh, in the treble register with, with sort of block chords underneath, um, I have the diapasons drawn at um, eight or eight and four, uh, if you would like to, of the great. Um, the addition that I play from suggests full swell at this point. I actually reserve the full swell for a little later on, mm. but I certainly have swell to 15th with the uh, prominent eight foot reed of that department drawn as well and the pedal to balance. Right, just a quick blast of the first two bars. Lovely. And then at the end, we've got a similar challenge to the Elgar, haven't we? Which is this massive forte yes. knocking it back that's, quite rapidly. We've got right. a little bit longer in which to do it. We, we, we have. And we have some clearly defined uh, cadential points and, and ends of phrases as well, which is, is fine to, 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 to actually lift off the keys, negotiate a piston change and then come back. 
Um, and at FFF, I think probably in all copies there, it is marked um, at that point there, where the, the melody soars up to a top um, a B flat major chord. Really, again, you want to be exploiting most, if not all, of the resources um, of the instrument at hand. Um, and after the pedal triplets, um, hopefully then just gradually bringing the great organ down, closing the box on the swell before using the swell pistons to, uh, uh, to reduce further. Right, excellent. So we're now going to listen to you play a complete performance of this piece. <laughs> 